Let's see what happened to our food scraps after two days. Oh man, they devoured it, look at that. There just never seems to be enough compost and when I try to make it, it takes way too long. So today, we're gonna talk about everything we need to know in order to attract black soldier flies right into our composting area at home, how to harvest their eggs, as well as what to do with those eggs in order to turn our food scraps into compost in about 15 days. Let's talk composting. After collecting eggs, this eight and a half kilos of larva was raised in 15 days in less than one square meter of space. There is no better solution in the world for breaking down food scraps. These guys are the perfect addition to any home compost bin. Thinking composting worms can do the same thing? Forget about it. Larva can eat twice their body weight and food waste every day. And all those hard to compost items like meat, dairy, and citrus, the larva love it. The larva frass microbiology will heat your compost right up. And if you let it mature for six to eight weeks, it will become a fantastic fertilizer full of chitin, one of the best organic forms of pest resistance for your plants. Let's turn our food scraps into gardening gold and grow a blue thumb. As a side note, I'm not saying anyone should get rid of their composting worms, but if your primary goal is processing lots and lots of food waste, then there's just no better solution than black soldier fly larva. The larvae often leave behind fibrous, carbon-rich material like leaves, skins, and the woody stems of plants. This is perfect stuff to hand over to your steady and slow red wigglers. And these composting worms can also eat your larva frass if you're looking to harvest some of that precious vermicompost. But it's not necessary because the larva frass can be matured over time and used directly as a fertilizer. And you're thinking, whoa, 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 I don't have any fish or chickens. What am I going to do with all that larva? The reality is that for every one kilogram of larva you produce, you can get up to four kilograms of frass. And after that, the larva will simply pupate, leave their pupa casing behind, which is also another great source of chitin for the soil, emerge as flies that don't bite, don't spread diseases, and can help you collect more eggs for your next round of food processing. And if you have any pets, the larva can be a great food supplement for many animals. They may just save you some money. So if you're wondering, how do I get started with all this? The first step is to collect some eggs. Place some cardboard over some fermented food with strong odor that is protected from vermin and other insects with a fine mesh. If your compost bin already smells, you can simply place the cardboard suspended above the compost. Just make sure the flies will have access to the cardboard. The black soldier flies will lay their eggs in the crevices of the cardboard, and in three to five days, the eggs will hatch. If you put your cardboard in a separate location, check it for eggs every few days, and when you find them, Put them above your food scraps so they can hatch, fall into the food scraps, and start eating. Be careful not to get the eggs wet, as this can cause them to spoil. There's really no downside to introducing black soldier fly larvae into your home composting bin, unless you have a bin dedicated to vermicomposting. If so, the larva frass may cause the compost to heat up way too fast, way too hot, so that your worms evacuate the bin or even cause them to die. So in that case, maybe you can try two-stage composting first with your black soldier fly larva, and next with your worms. If you're ready to take what you've learned and give it a try, hold on a second. First hit that blue thumb like button so we can continue providing home composting solutions in the future. So the biggest challenge with raising black soldier fly larva at home is having a constant supply of eggs. So we are gonna take you through all the steps from the simplest no effort solution, all the way to raising larva like the pros so that you can decide which solution best fits the need of your garden or farm. If you want to know more about the black soldier fly life cycle, take a look at our introduction video. Until the next video, let's go green by conserving water and grow a blue thumb.